We're going to talk about book binding, which is our first project. We're going to make a sketchbook to house all of our warm-ups and sketches for this class. So I want you to uh, follow along in the handout with the reading as I go through it. As soon as I'm finished with that, there will be another video that goes through the process of making your book. Um, book binding, the joining together of a number of leaves or folios, most frequently paper, parchment, or vellum, within covers to form a codex or book as opposed to a roll or scroll. Book binding began when the codex started to replace the roll. The earliest elaborately decorated book bindings were those produced for use on church altars. Typical art artistic book binding is of decorated leather and art first practice in the monasteries of the Coptic church in Egypt. Hand book bindery work includes the making of fine tooled bindings, binding reference books, and books of special economic or personal value and the repair of rare manuscripts, early printed books, and historical documents. We are going to be using a very rudimentary form of book binding, but still a form of book binding nonetheless. Um, we're gonna talk about some vocabulary that's associated and some things that you need to know. Um, these two images are pictures that I just wanted to show you that kind of went along with the handout. You can read the rest of that information on your own. Here's the vocabulary. Uh, the first one is a folio. That is, is a single sheet of paper or half a folded sheet of paper. So what that means is if I took a piece of paper and I folded it in half and it kind of looks like a card, that's a folio. Uh, signatures are two or more sheets of paper stacked and folded as groups or gatherings of folios. So it's like taking two, three cards, stacking one on top of the other and holding them together. That's a signature. Um, a spine is the cover used to enclose the inner pages. So that's this part of the book here. Um, your decal, if you were using um, handmade paper processes to add paper to your books, you would make, um, you would need a decal and a screen. So you would have a screen like this. You would create paper pulp, which is the next term. This is a soft, wet mass of fibers used to make handmade paper. I would pour the pulp on top of the screen, then I would add the decal, which is a frame on top, that limits the size of the paper once the pulp is poured in. A leaf is a single page in your book, or one side of a folio. So if I were to open my book like this, this first sheet of paper, that is considered a leaf. The valley is the inside of a folded edge of your folios. So if you open up your book and you've got a center section right here, that's a valley, okay? And the last term is a sewing station. When you're binding a book, you're gonna need to use a sewing station. This is adding holes to the center of your valley that you sew through to bind those pages together, okay? What you're going to need for this project, I've included in your kits, <clears throat> 12 sheets of copy paper or lined paper, a large metal tapestry needle, cardstock paper, one color, nine by 12, um, two inch strip of decorative paper, embroidery floss, you can also use thread, but embroidery floss is stronger, uh, paper clips or binder clips, you'll need several of those, um, a pencil, some scissors, markers, ruler, and a glue stick or Elmer's glue. Okay.